Benedict Cumberbatch, hey. hello, Hi. how are you? I'm good, yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit blurry, but all right, thank What you. a series. Oh, thank you so much. It thank had you. me hooked from the very beginning, so and good. the twists, the turns, the... It just kept me guessing, I loved it. He's the monster that every child wants when they are lost. It's so dark underground. The kid's been gone for over a week. Don't give up on him. Eric is gonna help me find Edgar. Oh, Vincent, Vincent, Vincent. It's a real dark thriller mystery. Why do you think people love this genre so much? We want character-driven drama that carries issues. It feels it's a drama about how when institutions fail us, the child in us, as well as a literal child in this case, get lost. Like a lot of the best writing, and Abby is really at the zenith of, of, of this genre and, uh, and at the height of her powers in this. And it's unlike anything else she's ever done as well. It's really spectacularly good. I'm hoping that, you know, that is what will guide people through for all, for the whole journey, because it really is a beginning to end thing. It's not something you want to watch a few episodes of. It's, it's, it's all six. This series set in the 80s, yeah. uh, which is obviously an era that you grew up in. Very much so. What actors and films inspired you in your career from that era? Ooh, uh, Harrison Ford and pretty much anything he was in was, was my kind of screen hero. Spielberg and uh, John Hughes and, you know, Knight Rider, the A-Team, yes, Baywatch. <laughs> <laughs> Terror Hawks, uh, Fraggle Rock, The Muppets, obviously. Um, all pre The Simpsons, which I think were a little bit later. I think they're later, yeah. I yeah think. And, but I mean, you know, so much. And being a Brit looking over the pond at that culture, oh. it was just so enticing, you know. And it's always, you know, more exciting the other side, isn't it? Yeah. They're probably looking at us and our cream teas and cricket lights going, yeah. ooh, hello, have a bit of that. Um, I don't know why I said that. Music, like Michael Jackson, Madonna, and. You know, the, the artists around there, Basquiat, and, you know, it just, it was a very extraordinary time to, to, to receive that culture. And I went into um, Edgar's bedroom on set and kind of had a little tear. I was like, oh my God, the, apart from the hamster, this is, there's so much paraphernalia in here that I yeah. recognize as mine, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. little E.T. stuff. And it was oh, just, wow. yeah. In this series, uh, one thing I wanted to touch on is that a lot of people, you get that sense of feeling lost. They don't know how they fit into life. And especially that 80s New York era. Brutal. How do you think that that translates into life today? I think massively. Look, you've got three central characters, well, four really. I mean, Bucci plays Edgar, he, he, he literally lost. You've got a man who's had a loveless childhood, who's mm. still playing up as a child, acting out as a child, unfiltered as a child, and creating toxicity everywhere he stumbles and his chaotic mess before he goes on the Dark Knight of the Soul Odyssey that my character Vincent does to come up the other side, hopefully changed in some subtle but very profound and important and survivable way. And then you've got Cassie who's trapped in a marriage where she's not being authentic, you know, she's trying to hold it together for the family, for the, the child, and not being true to herself and there's stuff she's got going on that's secret that's outside of the marriage. And then you've got a detective in Detroit, brilliantly played by a relative newcomer, McKinley Bilcher III, who's not a newcomer really, but this is this is a big platform for him and his work is spellbound. He's like a Sidney Poitier rock. He's got this magnificent containment. He's kind of the polar opposite of Vincent's acting out. He's acting in. He's just holding on, holding on, holding on. You know, um, don't want to spoil too much, but a gay black cop in, I can say that, mm -hmm, yeah. yeah. Um, a gay black cop in the 80s, uh, dealing with every kind of prejudice you can imagine in the NYPD on that front alone. It, 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 it's, they are all lost. They're not living the authentic self and it's all about, it's about all of them taking a step forward in the resolution of the story. Well, it's very hard hitting and you did, all of you, you did a phenomenal job and I cannot wait for people to see this. Thanks so much. And to uh, hear about all of their reactions as well. Oh, it's me been too, a pleasure Eric. meeting you. Congratulations. You talk about Eric. I know, I know.